Hello, this is Telecom TV. I'm Martin Warwick. I'm talking with Istvan Leitos. Istvan, thanks for talking to us. Let's start with this. We're talking about 5G and its sort of technical readiness level, where we are in it. What are the key challenges do you see that are facing 5G deployments? 5G being a new technology is always facing two challenges for, for the industry, uh, one on the technical, another one on, on the business level. In terms of technical challenges, the maturity level is not necessarily what is expected. We are in very early days with the current implementations. Uh, there has been a number of um, trials and, and experimentations around the world. And the second big challenge is, is uh, the business opportunities or the business case for many industry partners. And in terms of the, the business opportunities, the, the question is uh, the returns of investment. However, AWTG has developed a, a modeling tool which will help uh, service providers, operators, industry partners uh, to understand the, the scale of uh, the 5G technologies and uh, develop their business cases looking at all the dependencies. Isvan, can we put 5G in the context of Industry 4.0? First of all, what is Industry 4.0? Industry 4.0 is a trend, uh, has been talked about, which is the fourth industrial revolution. Um, and lots of companies are looking at industries, factories mainly, looking at factory automation, servitization, data exchange, um, also putting many of their services uh, into the cloud. So that is opening up a lot of opportunities for improvement, uh, efficiency gains and other uh, sort of uh, business uh, areas which will be then definitely benefiting for these factories. Isvan, what challenges then are factories facing as far as 5G deployments are concerned in an industrial context? Many of the factories are deployed uh, with basic networks um, supported by Wi-Fi technologies. In terms of 5G deployment, the biggest challenge is indoor coverage. Uh, from the current outdoor solutions, uh, 5G is not necessarily going to meet uh, its expectations in terms of the features has been set out by IMT 2020, low latency, ultra high reliability, high throughput, and also the massive machine type communication. So there is a need and requirement actually for, for indoor coverage, and the challenge factories are facing a twofold again, one from the technical perspective, how to deploy those networks, how to make sure they have 100% indoor coverage, how to make sure uh, the radio heads are really accessing the, the, the machines. Machines are normally built as uh, Faraday cages uh, surrounded by large pieces of metal. How do you make sure the signal propagation is definitely going to be sufficient for the needs for their connectivity needs? How do you make sure you have the, the necessary licenses even operating actually those networks indoor, which is another challenge. So many of the, the factories have no license. They have to work with mobile operators in order to provide services within the factories. 5G will later on offer uh, license assisted access, which is a 4G feature as well, so which has been factored into the latest standards. So that means uh, these factories could, can consider licensed and unlicensed frequencies and provide services around that. So they will be independent somewhat from a mobile operator to provide actually the necessary access to them in the cloud and, and, and how one to serve many at the moment is one to one kind of uh, relationship for many of the examples we have been working in. AWTG is a partner with Worcestershire 5G Testbed. Uh, we are a member of the consortium providing uh, network design deployment integration services as well as consultancy to the industry partners to help them understand the business objectives about 5G technology and how to deploy those. This is massively helping them to understand, explore new opportunities, have been developing free proof of concepts uh, to really showcase what are the 5G capabilities inside the factories within the indoor coverage areas. What are AWTG's values in the delivering of 5G? AWTG is a unique company has hands-on 5G experience and we also offer uh, companies at scale, small, medium or large, the opportunity to test their products and services in our true 5G network. We are very pleased to work with companies, organizations within the Worcestershire 5G testbed such as 5GIC, who we've done a lot of work with. We deployed the first 5G uh, real network in the UK in 2015 and then uh, based on that relationship, we have been also building together the Worcestershire 5G testbed 
uh, network, uh, which is uh, proven to be very successful at this moment of time. We are experimenting 5G services in, in a real world. And this is adding, adding value actually to, to all the industry partners in the future. Isvan Leitos, thanks very much. Thank you.